Ever notice how even in a pure breeding project, things don't always go exactly as planned? In my Snow White Guppy project, I kept running into these almost, but not quite, Snow White variations. It was pretty neat. My goal was to stabilize a Snow White line after some deliberate outcrosses. Lots of backcrosses later, I was seeing tons of variation. Sometimes up to 16 different phenotypes. But these guys, these guys were special. This is a typical Snow White male, blonde body, no half black trait. For simplicity, let's focus on just these two genes, base body color and half black. Blonde based body color is recessive and represented with a lowercase letter b. Half black is dominant and when expressed is represented on the X chromosome as an uppercase letter n then i1. Now check this out. This guy's almost identical to the classic Snow White, but he's gray based, not blonde. See the darker mouth and head? This is a result of just a single swap to a dominant allele. And then there's this one. He's got the half black trait. Since half black is sex linked, I'm really curious to see what his offspring look like when bred back to a classic Snow White. And finally, the gray based and half black male. A pretty striking combo, right? Unfortunately, I don't have the space to try and stabilize these variations, but I thought they were cool. So what do you think? Would it be a stretch to call these Snow White variants?